Dr. Kazoo, how are you doing today? Oh, real good. Good. Real good. <laughs> what's what your a, take on what's going on here? What a mess. <laughs> now, you had been through the Johnstown flood yeah. back in 77. Yeah. How does this compare with the Johnstown flood? Well, actually, none of this town's really flooded. This is like okay. uh, where the people get on load unload their boats and get on a dock and uh, it looks like they destroyed the dock here though is what I'm looking at uh, and I've never seen it this side and I've heard in the past like down here where you look behind us up over this river wall I've heard in the past this actually got uh, high enough that it actually went up over this this river and uh, down here though but so far as it looks no, none of the town is actually flooded out that I know of uh, at least not from we the river here. We just talked to the police uh, fire department here yeah. They said it came down two feet. They said the water was up over this road into yeah. the main street. And it came down some since last yeah. night. But they said now it's coming back up again. Yeah. And the will. reason being, I guess, is all that water and that magnetic rip. Well, yeah, there is a, we said before, nobody paid any attention to or listened to us, but there is a rip, a, a huge rip <clears throat> in a magnetic core around the earth right now into the atmosphere. And when that meteorite last, when it came down in Russia there in the past, what, six to eight months, whatever, it came down here, it didn't help matters at all either. It made that rip even worse. So you're going to see this weather pattern for a long time. You know, you're going to see, you notice this year your, your temperatures everywhere for winter are like a roller coaster. And you're getting ups and downs, ups and downs. And we really haven't had that, that good of a summer up where we're at. We should, be at a, we should have been in like 80 degree, like a good bit of the summer. We were in the 70s. We had a couple days in the 80s, but uh, you're gonna be seeing a trend like this for a long now, time. Do you ever advise people to walk in flooded areas like this? No, uh-uh. Or drive? No, you, no. You actually, you shouldn't. A smaller section like that was an emergency. You probably, you know, you probably chance it, but actually, I, I, uh -huh. pretty, very, very careful. Use common sense. It's not really flooded out that bad. You can stall out your engine. It can do a lot of things to you in there. It's not safe. You can drown in it, believe it or not. Water is very powerful. It's nothing to play around with. Uh, up in this area here, they're known they can get storms from Newcastle that come through for through Ohio that can be pretty wicked through uh, here. But it's hot down here. You know, you here, never though. hear too much about it in your weather because they always talk about like the bigger cities. But this area here could actually get hit pretty hard uh -huh. down here. And like we said, there's a, like a low trying to push east and that high pressure is out of the Atlantic and stalling like they do in the winter time. We got one stalling in the summertime. It could last a good bit of the summer for one, Stuart. It could start taking off. <coughs> now, there's another part of the high we have to look out for too. Uh-huh. There's a good, very good chance there's gonna be a breakage off of that headed towards like the Carolina, Florida area and do a lot more of another something, another storm heading up, up the coast. That's that hurricane they were talking about, right, sir? You told me, yeah, now it's your information, sir, eh? Really? The uh, Dr. Kazoo weather station had reported to the uh, National Weather Service that there's a potential hurricane forming in the Gulf of Mexico, which the Bermuda High is going to suck it up from the Gulf. Well, 13 to 18 here. inches of rain, sir. Oh, really? That's what you said. When was this? Okay. On your well, network. Well, anyway, at any rate, yes, there is a hurricane, a tropical storm out there a little bit west of Mexico now. Well, I believe we could actually have is a good possibility that that storm heading west, northwest, can meet another system that's heading in towards the east and push that back into the Pacific, Pacific uh, states in the western part. And uh, that would be for the forest fires out there. They got burned and put them out. Well, yeah, but that could be a while that that happens. though. it's not no overnight, oh, okay. uh, no overnight thrill. Okay. It's, it's a very good possibility that it could actually happen out there, out of it, or it could continue west through that there, but I think there would be another system out there that they're going to meet and just push that right back in towards the Pacific. Mm. Uh, for the heat wave out there, uh, mm -hmm. oh, my condolences to all the firefighters out there. I'm a firefighter myself, a volunteer. And, uh, what um, happened? We heard about that. What happened? Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to, I'm sorry, we're going to cut this show right mm -hmm. now. I'm ending it. Good day. No, I mean, I don't know what happened. What happened to the firemen? What happened to the firemen? I didn't hear that, sir. What happened? We're live on the air. What's he talking about? Okay. Can't I ever do an effing show without you? Damn question all the time, constantly. Constantly, question, I'll, question, I'll be, question, question. I'll be quiet, go ahead. I'll be quiet, I'm standing here recording, yep.
Dr. Kazoo had just informed us of, a, of some kind of tragedy or fireman, and he was wishing his condolences. And we don't know, we don't know what happened. Uh, we did, we weren't advised of it. Uh, if I can catch up to him here, we're going to find out what happened here. This is the first I've heard of it. Uh, there we got some debris floating down the river from up top. Huge quantum here on the ground. Huge quantum. Yeah, we're, we want to know what happened, sir. We, we don't know what happened, but we're going to continue. We're on the air live. Yeah, I'm not continuing. Okay. Why should I? All you do is every time I say some constant question, a constant question, a question, a question, a question. You're on the air live, sir. You're on the air live, sir. I don't care. Okay, what They're happened? They're not paying though? me any money for this. What, what happened with Farman, though? Okay, we're going to leave you now, folks. We're going to e exit our show here. and There's the... I'm asking a question. What did you I'm hear? I'm tired of your questions. Well, I don't know what farm. Here, right there they are. Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Dr. Kazoo here again. We're here again. We're out in Catani, Pennsylvania, along the river here. And as you can look at it, like I'm here... Hold on one second. Uh, okay. If I point with something, you got to turn this camera to okay. start doing the job. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, I'm watching you. Okay, here we go. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Dr. Kazoo here. If, if you can look at the camera here, if you look out at the lake here, you see this water is very, very high right now. And that's my understanding right now. They're not allowed, allowing any boats on this. It's because of what's going on. And if you look at the wave, this is like flooding waters here. We understand in the past we're looking up through the town here. Oh, no. We'll do it some other day. We'll do it Continue. If you point, go real slow and I'll move the camera, okay? Just use this, your finger, to point where you want me to go. Okay, we're going to do this. Perfect this time. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Dr. Kazoo here and it's a nice sunny afternoon in Catani, Pennsylvania, along the river. This is very beautiful. It's a nice little town here. Uh, I come down here in the, in the summertime. We come boating on the river here. Uh, it's very nice. It's a very nice little community right in this river they have here. As we take care and look, look out to the river here, okay, you see, you see how high that is with all them waves out there. There's been, been an awful lot of rain falling in Pennsylvania and the northern part of the state up from New York is crushing down on upon the lake here. And if you look here, along here, the waters are up higher than what they usually are here. Usually in previous years when I was down here, when you look out here a little bit of that stone there, well, that's a little bit of the stone there. That's where the water usually is. So it's up past this level here and they said it was down some here. If we take a look going back here, as we go towards town, if we look up here, they said in previous years, water has gone up in the, up over the road there. So if, you say, if that's the case there, I, I believe it actually happened here. There should be an awful lot of water rose up a pretty long little bit of a hill there. Now, the situation in the, uh, you know, the situation that's going on, isn't isn't gonna is gonna continue for a while. We have a very major high pressure out in the Atlantic Ocean, and another storm. Some storms out west trying to push her in towards off to the east coast, and it's uh, pulling everything in stalling motion here along the east coast, like you had there out in Chicago and places like that. It rained for several days, and the flooding they got. You're starting to see it on the east coast now. It's gonna be here for a while, and uh, there is no no relief in sight for this. You're gonna have the same type of weather pattern for a while. What we have going on, as I mentioned before, we have a very huge rip in the magnetic core around the Earth. And a couple of other things that's going on in the atmosphere, you had the north and the south pole that shifted, and a lot of magnetic induction, the way a lot of things change in the atmosphere. And that's what's going on, it's going to cause it. This pattern's going to continue. You'll see roller coaster temperatures, you know, how some days, some weeks are in the 80s, next week 70s, next week 60s, you know, like an up and down swing in the weather for a while there. Uh, Tornadoes, okay. so a lot of them had uh, what they were predicting for tornadoes this year. We didn't put a prediction number in like we did in previous years because we figured well, what's the difference between 20 or 10. The thing is, these, we said something like about a year or two ago, these tornadoes were going to get a lot more severe and a lot more potent. And they showed it in Oklahoma this year and northern part of Texas and a lot of other places this year too. And there's no relief in sight for that. Uh, 
those storms are going to get more wicked. The wind, wind gusts are going to be higher and they'll do a lot more damage. It doesn't matter if it's five of them or 20 of them. It, just, it only takes a couple to really go through the whole, whole certain area and just destroy everything there is. Uh, hurricane season this year, some, some of the forecasters are forecasting up to like 2018. Uh, all I got to say, it's going to be a, a bad one. There again, you're, I'm not going to give a number of prediction this year because usually those guys, the year I did it for tornadoes and hurricanes, I was I was the most accurate one there was there the year. Uh, I don't give them the predictions anymore, how many winter storms and stuff like that. My theory is, okay, it only takes one or two that's got a real, a real powerful one like Sandy. You're going to see a couple more of them down the road too. You're going to see a couple even more worse than that because it's the way everything is going in the universe right now in the atmosphere on, on, planet, on this planet right now. So some big time changes are coming. My condolences to the firefighters out in Arizona or Arkansas, wherever the wildfires out on the western part of the United States, they were fighting all these wildfires, 19. They got killed. Uh, I have a volunteer fireman myself, but I know the hotshot crew, even in Pennsylvania, they got members out of Pennsylvania that are capable of going out there, same as New Jersey or any other state. Uh, those guys really trained for that. Uh, I special, didn't specialize in that. I specialized in structures and a couple other firefighting things when I did it. Uh, but the hotshot crew is very, they're very, they're very good at what they do. They got, they're specialized, they have, they have to meet certain health criteria. Everything has to be perfect with these guys before they do it. They put a lot of training, a lot of hours in, into that. And uh, I'm curious to see what happened with these uh, fire retardant suits. Why they, I, under, I heard where they malfunctioned. They, they, they didn't, didn't save them, but then again, you know, how, how hot was a fire too? Uh, there's, a, there's a couple of variances there, but my condolences are still so bad for the guys. Uh, like, like the chief said out there, in the, out in that area, that we're, everybody's a brother or a volunteer paid because they basically don't really have to go through the same training anymore. So there's really no difference too much anymore like it was like 20, 30 years ago. But uh, my, heart, my heart goes after this, guys. Uh, other than that, we're going to take a short break for the recess here and uh, probably call it. You'll be seeing us once or twice this summer again. Uh, we just haven't been doing too much of this lately. But there is some big time stuff coming with the weather. There's gonna be changes, tornadoes, hurricanes, everything's gonna start getting a lot worse than what it was, doing a lot more damage. So start taking some of this stuff serious. Uh, what's going on in, in the universe, the way the, the jet streams are going and the, your, your hot and your cold airs, everything clashing, it's, it's, it's a very serious business anymore. A lot more than it was years ago. So Dr. Kazoo signing off. Wishing everybody a happy weather day. My name's Lonnie Butler. Hi Lonnie, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Good. Yes, uh, when the water's high like this, so like uh -huh. coming down here, there's like a gate down there, like okay. a floodgate. Okay. And that's where the fish that lay up in there once in a while they go back out. So nine times out of ten, you get yourself a nice catfish or a drum, a nice bass once in a while. With the water being as high as it is. Yes. Wow. Yes. They'll probably have this close ball over the fourth Uh. I don't think it'd be closed, you know, it's, it's, it's still open, you know, because it's down in this area here. Yeah. But, but I think it's hard on the boat. It's hard to get a boat at the, or on yeah. the, everything's underwater, you know? Yes. Parking lot's underwater, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it, that'd be kind of tough, you know, 